All right, what's going on, everyone? It's Rebranded Gaming here, and welcome back. And today we are continuing on with Metro Exodus. Today we are, instead of actually doing the story though, because we finished that last time, we are actually going to be hopping into the DLC. Why did it pull that up? Do I not have the DLC? Oh, it's up here. Okay. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we're going to start with the two kernels DLC. Um, witness the story of the last year of life in Novosibirsk, Metro through the eyes of Colonel Klebnikov, taking direct part in the events, and Colonel Miller piecing the picture of the past together, basing upon Kirill's words and his own impressions. Yeah, we've already... It says, warning, DLC contains spoilers for the main story. Shocker. Alright, but yeah, in we go. After a new level is loaded, the previous autosave progress. Your quick saves will not be influenced. Okay, go. Anya, Dochka. I have a lot of thoughts for the year before we were in the country. Position, responsibility, debt. All this is nothing in comparison to the most important your family. Excuse me, I didn't understand this before. Если well, понадобится, я через сито просею все это засыпанное снегом кладбище, но найду лекарства. А Артем, Артем чувствует свою вину и хочет ее mm -hmm. искупить. И я постараюсь проследить, чтобы это не стоило ему жизни. Главное, я снова в метро. И здесь никаким мутантом меня не остановить. Well, а Цена на поверхности другое дело. Отправляясь сюда, я думал, что беру билет. В один конец. Вы сказали цель близко, но зачем вам институт? А ты настойчивый. Задание у нас. Больше сказать не могу. А я пацан. Благодаря зеленке, которую нам отдал Кирилл, у нас появился шанс выжить. Ну что, боец? Артем ушел. Буду я тоже готовиться. А я товарищ полковник. А ты рядовой пока останешься на связи. Должен же кто-то координировать операцию. Watch the comms, kid. Справишься? Конечно, справлюсь. Молодец. Кстати, Орел, расскажи-ка мне пока, как вы тут до бунта жили, когда зеленки на всех хватало. Неплохо жили. Только отец вечно то на задании, то в патруле. Скучал один. Нет. Отец всегда домой спешил вернуться. Особенно на праздники. Новый год последний вместе встретили. I see. Okay. I think that was supposed to be the date. One year earlier. Товарищ полковник, ремонтники очень просили напомнить, когда насосов доберетесь, всю слизь вокруг Got it. Ну, с гнидью, считай, покончили. Сам полковник Хлебников за огнемёр берётся. Смотри, не сглазь. Кстати, об огнемёре. Yeah, we're smart flamethrower. Вот, товарищ полковник. Только осторожно, тяжёлый. Знаю. Yeah. Давление в норме? Должно быть норм. Проверьте. Если нет, ручка сбоку. Подкачайте немного. Вот так всегда. Вечно всё приходится делать самому. Mm-hmm. Oh, it loses pressure over time too. Задайте гнили жару. Так точно, товарищ полковник. Got it. Не волнуйся. Не пуха. К черту. Yeah. Спасибо. All right. See you guys later. All right. And there we go. Forward we go. So I don't know how long these DLCs are supposed to take. Um, mm. Yep. All right. Okay. Take a right, and we want her a small. Mm 
Yeah, I'm trying to figure out like what it is that we're able to burn. Take a right. And here is the first one. Performance Diary 1, I gotta admit. That Andre does have a good head on his shoulders. These tunnels were all, always easy to get lost in, but when they get covered in slime, even a map can't help. It's enough for it to cover some passages to change the shape of the place completely. The Rotans truly are a godsend here. They're ha highly visible and the slime can't eat them away. We only had to ask our guys to grab some signs when they returned from the work at the old railroad, and they brought a whole bunch in no time. Now we can't get lost here even if we wanted, and the Ostgom guys will have an easier time finding their directions too once they finally decide to visit this place with their flamethrowers. Why didn't I think of this earlier? I really should arrange a bonus for him. He earned it fair and square. Woo! Have something. Okay, didn't realize I wasn't hitting E fast enough or something. Alright, well, we got that. Oh, let's uh, refresh rise this. Kick the door. And there we go, that should be it. Dude, I'd be concerned about it flailing around like that and impaling us with that. Like, geez. this work? Nope. Yep, just burn it down. That's not work on that. Oh well. Some more flamer fuel. through everything very quickly. I like it. Okay. Alright. Put that on. Have the light ready. Alright, I don't think we're going there. So I think it wants me to go that way. Yeah, I'm trying to do this in burst to preserve some of the ammo. Alright. I think we're looking good so far. Turn this off. See, so yeah, I don't think the flame is going to necessarily want to work through that. There we go. There we go. I was about to say, I feel like I have to go that way, so what's this way? More fuel. Good 
we're doing pretty good so far. Let me reload this. Yep, give me that stuff. Alright. So far, this seems like a pretty chill DLC. I feel like I missed something. Alright. Let's repressurize this. Yeah, so there's an achievement to get through this entire DLC without using a medkit. I probably won't be able to do that, but... Yep, because bam, dead. Don't know when it last saved me, so we'll find out. Oh my gosh, it sent me so far back. Okay. Great. Great, okay. I guess I'm gonna have to control my saves. A lot. Jeez. We just got set so far back. Me through. this back. Jeez, I can't believe we lost, like, a good amount of time. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, let's repressurize this as well. Quit pumping! Jeez. Oh, fuel. Just use medkit. We're not going to go for that achievement at all. Alright, turn this. And replace the fuel. body over there that had some ammo or just stuff in general all right there we go in the door. Alright, push forward. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's overpressurize this here in a we're gonna need it here in a minute. Alright, keep going. Drop a freaking quick save. Ah, uh, yep, so that is the date in the one corner. Alright, we, we should get a little of this. Alright, pick up more of that. Ah. ah, that's how they get around it. Yeah. Oh. Great. I'd like it if these things got off of me. This is not going to look good. Oh, okay. That's actually just radiation. You're dead. Turn the valve. Alright, go, go, go. More chemical. I mean, yeah, we're probably going to need a lot of chemical. So why did I turn that valve, by the way? All right. Ooh. Give some stuff on you, I'll take that. Okay, what was that for, though? Oh, ladder's right here. Alright, and second page should be up here. Kicking the door. Will be a side room. Ow. I wasn't even paying attention when I did that. Come on. Oh, you don't... I think because we're heading that way, this... Yeah. 
play that. There we go. Permanent Diary 2. That rock keeps spreading, and the more slime accumulates, the faster it spreads. Our valiant defenders, though, instead of scheduling regular cleanups, sticking to that schedule, instead for her to wait till the last possible moment when the worms appear and then run around with their butts on fire playing heroes. The interesting part, though, is that each time they, they send less men. Second team's chief said it was not a coincidence that there's some secret project going on the old railroad and they're throwing all they can at it and neglecting us. For behind that thing on priority list, everything under the wrap under the wraps. Come on, if you're going to invent shit, at least put some effort into it. Nobody wants to do anything, and that's the problem. They all want to find a warm and quiet place, sit on their asses and do important things, like counting beans and stuff. No wonder when they're giving out green stuff there's always a crowd but when it's time to burn some slime you're hardly really see anyone ready to take the task. Alright. Alright. We got a ways to go. Where's the workbench at? Alright, so here's the workbench. I don't even know if it's worth cleaning that. Ah, so now I won't lose pressure just randomly. I can overpressure it. All right. Oh. Oh, great. Definitely something you want to have to do. Are we good? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright, let's... Get some new fuel going on in here. All right, there we go. I mean, yeah, it's probably terrible to have to inhale this stuff. Oh, hey, buddy. I got to reload. Oh, hey, friends. Everything seems good so far. Ooh, yeah, that can be a problem. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Oh, nice. Congrats, man. You too. All right. That, like... Yep. Oh, yeah, that will put that out. That, grab that. Alright. 
good here. Kicking the door. Loop out. But everyone said it. You're not dead. Great. So much. All right. See cage room or it's K. Jeez. Yeah, that not surprising was literally out of pressure. Sorry, dude. Oh, it's probably that. Oh, great. Oh, hey, actually. I know we get in there. Gone. A large tank. Oh, we put in the second workbench. Alright. Seeing it here though. Right. Side door, kick down the next door. Oh, okay, it's after this. Actually, I should probably craft some fuel. I also got a couple of upgrades, so let's actually buy those too. That'd be nice. Big tank. Got a good amount of fuel, too. Alright. It's clean. Yeah, I'm not worried about filters, so... All right. Look to her left. Oh! There it is. Workers know, I hate to say I told you so, but we're screwed now. Cleaning the filters won't help. The pipes are full of slime instead of water now. Tried heating the incoming pipe with the blowtorch some, and the pump did restart after some time, but there's already two fingers of that shit on the walls, and so not two fingers, what? The overflow basin is full, and the only thing you could do thing it that could do the trick is a proper burning. You should have started raising an alarm a week ago, and I say that now you should take a brush and clean everything yourself since you were so against the idea of bothering the bosses back then. 